Peace and greetings, everyone. Hi, it's me, Miss Blue, the Oracle. And I just want to welcome you on in for this weekly energy reading. I am going to be using the Planet Remix cards here uh, that have been crafted with high vibration signs and symbols that we all can relate to, to really let you check in with your energy and so that you can keep yourself nice, balanced, and grounded throughout the whole entire week. So, First, what I want you to do is to take a look at each one of the piles. I'm going to be going through pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. And each one of them has a crystal on the pile. So I want you to see which one of the crystals actually resonates with you. And this is the very first crystal here. And I want you to take a look. This is Mukiolite. And Mukiolite is one of my favorite, favorite, absolute favorite crystals because the energy in the Mukiolite is so smooth. It's a member of the Jasper family and it comes from deep, deep down in the earth. So you know what that means. It's going to be excellent for grounding. This is literally what I call a soul pick-me-up crystal, right? This is a spiritual pick-me-up crystal because it really, really helps you to activate so much inside of you. It really helps you to act your intuition. Um, this is a stone in the past in ancient times that was used by royalty, right? To help them remember who they are. Very grounding and amazing for the nervous system. And so next, we're going to go to this baby right here. Take a look. This is mahogany obsidian. Look at that. Can you see that? Isn't that a beautiful, oh, I can just feel the vibes. Matter of fact, let me tap on it really quick and let you feel the vibration of this. This is going to not only the mahogany obsidian keep you grounded, it's also going to help shield you from low energy, low negative vibes and vibrations. It's going to help you to anchor your energy into the earth, right? And it's also going to shield you from negative vibrations, even if those are coming from yourself. You know, sometimes our minds kind of get away from us and we start feeling things, you know, we start thinking things. This can really help you. The ma mahogany obsidian. I'm just a little excited, so I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. And as with all obsidians, it's going to help bring some things to the surface that you really need to come face to face with um, so that you can release them. So amazing energy here. And then now here's one you don't see often, but also another favorite. This is serpentine. New, 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 new. You see that? That's that serpentine energy. This is your spiritual first aid kit right here because this helps you gently guide you towards your life purpose. It really helps you. Has a lot of rejuvenation energy, a lot of rebirth energy. And this is what I like to call da da da. It's a vibrant thing vibrant energy. Can't you feel that? Let me go ahead and release some of that on you. Matter of fact, we'll do that for each one for the Mukiolite. Mm. And for the Mahogany Obsidian, we're going to release that. Ooh, I know you feel it. And then also for the serpentine. Now, each one of these piles, I have already off camera went ahead and put the blessings, the blessings of the ancestors on it, the blessings of our spirit guides on it, the blessings of God, the universe on it, the blessings of the divine have sprinkled their love and energy on it, and also really put it for everyone. So if you're watching this video, whether you're watching it now or if you're watching it in the future, there is something here for you. So now here comes the fun part. 
are you going to pick pile number one? Right? Mucleolite. Pile number two, this is going to be the mahogany obsidian or pile number three, the serpentine energy. Now, keep in mind, even though you may be drawn to a particular crystal, and yes, that's going to be related to the energy that's in there. But remember, we are doing a reading, an energetic reading for this week right? And so I want you to pause the video if you need to and really just see what pile. You can look at it from one, two, three, because numbers play such an important role in our lives as well, too. And then you can look at the energy of the crystals. Mm. So now as we continue with my numerology deck, what I'm going to do, oops, kind of made a little mess there. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to pick a vibe for the week. And this vibe for the week, wow, oh my goodness, like I'm literally absolutely getting renaissance chills right now. The vibe is one, two, three, four. This is the energy directly connected to the soul and it's the vibe of leadership. And look what it says. There it is, go ahead, say this out loud. Repeat this out loud. Step up, let's go. So this is your clue for the week. This is everyone. This is what is going to anchor you. Don't forget this. One, two, three, four. I love to see you one, two, step. Whatever that is, right? But this is letting you know. This is the vibe of leadership. So we know this entire week is really going to be about all of us stepping into our position of leadership. And so now what I'm going to do is we're going to start with pile number one. So I'm going to move these to the side and we're going to focus on pile number one. And so for pile number one, you will see there is three cards here. One, two, three. And then, of course, we have this four. So leadership is going to be our anchor. So here we go, pile number one. Uh-oh. Can I pick up the cart? Ah, here we go. Wow, this is it. Crown chakra, crown chakra here. This is it, crown chakra. This energy is coming up because it's letting you know that you're gonna have to step up. You're gonna have to step your game up this week. Um, there's gonna be lots of downloads coming in. You can see this from the antenna so beautifully depicted here, but you are going to have to step it up. This is all about higher learning. It's about higher knowing. knowing. It's about insight. It's about staying grounded and staying in tune with your intuition and everything that you're doing. When the crown chakra comes in, this is also letting you know that all the work that you have been doing, you have the opportunity to move forward, to move forward with those things in your life you want to move forward. And you are going to have to step it up to do that. So this is about putting your best foot forward. It's also about making sure that you live a very balanced life, right? Meaning that your mind, your body, your spirit, you're taking care of everything. When you think about the crown chakra, which is on the top of the head, I don't want you to just think in terms of energy center because it really is connected. The crown chakra is soulmate with the root chakra. So we gotta be grounded in order for that activation to happen and great things will come. I feel like there's some, uh, everyone who chose number one, um, group number one, you have some things this week that you must accomplish. There are some things that this is gonna be the week that kickstarts all of these things that you want to accomplish, it's going to happen this week. This week is laying the foundation for all of that. And then this is coming in upside down and we're going to leave it like that, but I'm going to turn it right side up so you can see. Look at this. It says, listen closely. 
So this tells me this is going to be a challenge. So this isn't a week to really do a whole lot of talking. It's more about getting yourself in alignment and listening closely to the things that are going on, heightening your awareness, not out of fear, but really out of, you see all of this pink energy is letting you know from a place of love. That's what you're listening for. You're listening for the vibration of love. You're listening, what does it say? Very closely. You're paying attention to details. You are making sure that you are listening and not only listening to things outside of yourself, but you're also listening to your intuition, right? You're listening to your higher self. You're listening to your heart and what it's leading you to do, which ultimately will turn into a feeling. And then you will begin to listen for all of these downloads because we got the crown chakra. All of these downloads that you're going to be getting. Oh, I absolutely love that. And then, ta-da. This is going to be the master key for you. Look at that. It's about detoxing. And you can see here, this has to do with your diet. Number one, what are you taking in? What are you taking in? And so when we think about detoxing, what I want you to think of, it's not so much about you trying to pull things out. It's about what are you taking in? If you take in high vibrations, look at the blueberries, look at the orange, look at the green, look at the uh, orange, look at the um, purple, the grape, which is the color of the crown chakra. But if you're taking in high vibrational food, food for your mind, food for your body, food for your spirit, food for your soul. If you're taking it in all across the board, then you see the line in the sand drawn there. You will detox those things that are no longer serving you. They will have no other choice but to fall away. That will give you complete access so that you can manifest, create all of the things your hearts desire. So there you go, group number one. Let's recap really quick. Remember our anchor for everyone. One, two, three, four. It is the vibe of leadership. You've got to step up. And let's go. It's time to go. It's showtime, right? It's time to get moving. The crown chakra is here letting you know that you have had some soul things that you have chosen at this point in time. And so whether that is you're writing them down, whether that is you're getting the supplies together, whether that is you're having that conversation, whether it is you're starting that routine, right? Whether it's waking up early in the morning, stretching, getting your body to moving, you're putting yourself in perfect alignment alignment so that the crown chakra, and I want you to imagine all of these are downloads coming in of things that you've had questions about that you will get the answers to. And then listen. Remember, this listen closely came in upside down. So this may be a challenge for you this week, but it doesn't have to be because we're looking at the blind spot in the moment. If you stay present in the moment and you listen closely to yourself first and foremost, listen closely. If someone is talking, be present. You're going to get rewarded in ways you never could imagine, group one. And then ultimately, what is just going to be the icing on top is going to be for you to mine and make sure you're aware of what you're taking in. Take in some high vibrational energy, food, good food for the body, good food for your mind. What are you listening to, right? What are you taking in your heart? What are you watching? What are you strolling on the gram? What are you looking at on TikTok? Remember, if you take in high vibrational things, you don't have to worry about any of that negative energy that you might have been experiencing or even some of that uncertainty. So here we go, group number one. Oh, this is so exciting. So exciting for group number one of Obsidian. And now we're going to move on 
to group number two. Here you go, group number two. We have three cards for group number two. That's here. This is group number two, three cards, and this was the Mahogany Obsidian. Remember, our anchor for the week for all of us here is one, two, three, four, and it's the vibe of leadership. And so whether you picked group one, group two, or group three, it doesn't matter. Even if you pick all, whatever resonates with you, I want you to... I want you to take that in. Just take that in for a moment. You know, we have these sayings that we do on Planet Remix, which by the way, if you're listening, you can check us out. We are on YouTube. We're also iTunes and wherever you get your podcasts. Myself, Miss Blue, the Oracle joined with Brother Bilal. We come on Fridays and Sunday nights and we do a live show and you can join us in the Blue Room right here on the YouTube channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be getting all of those goodies, right? So look right here, group number two. Let's see what's going on with you. Ooh, one of our favorite sayings on Planet Remix. It says, know your magic. Know your magic. I want you to take that in for a moment that you're gonna be starting out this week to ground your energy and know what's ahead of you is that you have to know your magic. And know your magic actually stands for, know your magic actually stands for, magic actually stands for, excuse me, making a greater individual commitment. First to yourself, that's magic making a greater individual commitment. So you have to know your magic now because the truth of the matter is we are, this is 2022 or whenever you are listening in the future, we are universal citizens at this point. We are all universal citizens, whether we are on planet earth or any of those other places out there inside the Milky Way galaxy and beyond. We are universal citizens and you got to know your magic. You got to know that you're greater than just your physical body. You got to know that your mind is limitless. You have to know that your energy can change things. Your thoughts are things and the thoughts that we think today are creating are tomorrow tomorrow. So you have to know your magic now. So important for you. And the reason you have to know your magic is last week, group number two, you had some really, really, really tough spots, some tough things to come up for you. And uh, they were kind of some triggers. Let's be honest. But I want to remind you going into this week, you are taking a lot of wisdom with you. You're taking a lot of insight with you. And and that insight and that wisdom is coming from you recognizing that you are a universal citizen. That means no matter where you are in the world, no matter where you're listening from, you can know your magic. You can make a greater individual commitment first to yourself. And that is going to take care of everything else in the world. Mm. Oh boy, it's looking it's looking kind of good over here. Astrology is coming up for you. You know what? Group number 2, you need to check in with your astrology. Do you understand about how you are all of the zodiacs? If you can see this here, you're all of it because you're a universal citizen. You know, on Planet Remix, Brother Bilal has invented uh, a technique after working with astrology over 20 plus years called your true zodiac, which really literally helps to wake up your soul. That is so important. Your sun sign, understanding about yourself, understanding the different components of who you are, but also recognizing that astrology, what is happening in the skies above is directly connected with what is going on in the inside of you and vice versa. You are affecting 
the, the stars and the alignment as much as the alignment and the stars are affecting you. So this is a big week in astrology. Maybe this is a great time if you haven't picked up a book or did any kind of learning about astrology to maybe tap in and get some more understanding about you. And you know why I say that? Because group number two, timing is everything. And understanding how the stars are aligned and understanding more about who you are is going to lead you to your greatest success. Mm. Look right here. This says clear your energy. Once you do that, once you work on sort of clearing your energy, and we'll talk about what that means in just a moment, insight will come within 36 hours. Hours. So right here, the universe is letting you know how all of this is connected to you, group number two. Number one, it's time for you to know your magic and know you are a universal citizen. You are more than just your physical body that is inside of you, uh, that, your, that your spirit and soul resides in. Astrology is connected to you. In fact, this is the new spirituality. This is spirituality and astrology is the same if you understand how to use it. And I promise you, there's a lot of great places out here in the world that's getting this understanding. But you can also check out some of the links here on Planet Remix and really get to tap in and start learning more about who you are. And then also clear your energy. You know, I still have my magical spiritual bath kits as well. And this is a great time to just cleanse and clear your energy, your aura and reset. And even if you don't have that, taking a shower, you know, doing a great shower. You see here, um, they're using sage. Whatever your spiritual ritual practice is for clearing your energy, it could be going for a walk. You know what I mean? It could actually be an opportunity for you to listen to some beautiful, music that's coming in. Um, it can also be, you know, you visiting or talking with a good friend or just going out into nature and watching the sunset or the sun rise as it appears. This could help you with clearing your energy and then dropping down in the lower half of your body. Stay out of your head. This is why you see there, you do not even see the head of the person on here letting you you know you need to come down in the lower half of your body stay out of your mind right and drop down in your body so you can really feel your spirit and know what's true for you and when you do that the divine is saying insight will come within 36 hours so you mark that on the calendar and make sure you come back or drop a comment below and let us know did you get your insight in 36 hours i know you did i know you did group number two i am so excited we have recap. You are a universal citizen and you will ultimately be opening up the way for many who are not aware to understanding that they are universal citizens. And you can do this in a very, very hmm, loving and calm way by you showing up and being the very best version of yourself. You don't even have to say anything. You can just keep repeating to yourself, I know my magic. I know my magic. <laughs> I know my magic. And that you will. You will know your magic and activate magic everywhere you go. Group number two. So now we have group number three, and I'm so excited uh, to cover group number three. And so here we go. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you all. This is my first time doing readings this way on YouTube, and I am learning this process. 
I'm getting a lot of help from my daughter um, and uh, I'm learning this process. It's really fun. I've been doing this spiritual work for quite a bit, over 13 years. Very honored to say on the Remix Radio. And now I want to kind of show up different. So I want you to know this is not just something I'm telling you to do. Uh, this is something I'm challenging myself to do more. Um, and this was really, really on my heart uh, to share with all of us tonight. Because I know that this is this is really where spirit is just, just calling me to show up more. Uh, for myself in this particular way. And so I want to offer this to you all and we can come over here and we can have some fun and we can go through all of these different readings this way and we can share so many other things with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want to let you know to check out the links below because Planet Remix, we offer so many things to assist you while on your spiritual journey, right? And we do this, myself and Brother Bilal, we do this out of love for everything. But we have tools, we have solutions, and we have a workshop that's coming up, oh, I almost forgot, on June 26th. This is the Stress Release Workshop. And let me tell you something. If you want to get more details, question Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N, the number four blue at gmail.com. Details will be in the notes below, right? You can check below um, and you can email me and I'll send you the details. Let's continue on because I'm excited to get to group number three with all of this serpentine energy. This is the vibrant thing. So here we go. Remember leadership is the vibe of the week. Can we all say that together? Leadership. We are the CEOs of our lives and how we are creating our lives. We must understand that. We must understand that we are the CEOs of our lives and we can set some good intentions. And what a perfect way to start looking at it than this. So we have our three cards here, right? Let's move that. Let's kind of move these others out of the way here so I can give group and number three the love they deserve. And so group number three, let's see what we come. Ooh, a SAR. Mm. Wow. Now that's a surprise. A SAR is showing up. And I want you all to know this is a very special deck that we created for Planet Remix. And we did it with the images and symbols that you see in everyday life because we want you to feel very connected. And Asar, if you don't know, is the Egyptian god that is the Ned Natir that comes out also named Osiris. A sar is showing up. Now, there's only one reason a sar is showing up because a sar comes to recognize the process of growth. And so this tells me if you're in group number three, you have put in some work and you have done some serious growth. Like literally you have, you have grown. <laughs> you know how they say you are growing up on planet earth as we say on planet remix. Well, you are growing up on planet earth and you are sprouting. You are sprouting. This is all about the power of resurrection. And a star also symbolize there's a new cycle. Wow, these readings, even though we know they're for one person and for each group, they really pertain to all of us. So a SAR is showing up to symbolize that you're opening, you're at the gateway of a new personal cycle for yourself. Mm -hmm. You are in the phase of being renewed. Renewed. This is why you only see half. You are being renewed from the inside out, pile number three. So I want to wait. Spirit is just kind of dropping some things in me. I need to talk a little bit more about Asar because this is so significant. Because Asar himself also is highly connected with the energy of the lion. 
right? He's connected with the energy of the lion, which is such powerful energy because guess what we have coming up? We have the summer solstice. We have the solstice energy that's coming up. This is powerful, right? Mm -hmm. This is powerful energy. And he represents that. Uh, he represents that energy of the lion, the power, you know, his name actually, the power of Ra, Asar, that's what it means. And he's also connected to the water supply. Hmm. I feel like there's collective information coming in. Yeah. Something's going to be going on with our water supply here um, uh, a lot. Uh, we've seen some hints of this around the world, but this week we're going to get some notifications about our water supply. We are and what we need to do in terms of self-preservation and water. Yeah, I feel this coming in with the SAR. Mm -hmm. And by the way, also the number seven, hold that number close to you as well. We're in a six universal year. We have our one, two, three, four, right? Five is the changes that we're all about to make this week. And then six is our universal year. But I want you, group three, to add the seven to go along with that. You know, mm, add that seven, very high spiritual number. We're going to be seeing some things as above, so below uh, coming out. I wouldn't even be surprised if it's UFOs. And then here we are. Mm, no wonder all of this energy. Energy is coming in for you. Look at this. 5D dreams pay very close attention to your dreams. And the reason for that, because the LOA, the law of attraction, is you got it right in the palm of your hand. That means your thoughts will become things group number three three your feelings your emotions you are manifesting right now if you have a dream you know those dreams you're holding whether in awakened state or when you're asleep i want you to understand you are manifesting and you're in direct contact with your higher self you know you're in direct contact with your higher self. It's a great time to do some spirit quests. You know, go within, visualize those things. And here, because so much power is being held in group three, don't just visualize, you know, things for yourself and your family. I need you to visualize for the whole world. So do something for yourself, but also don't forget, we're universal citizens. You know, we learned that in group two. Group two, that's why I said there's a collective message for all of this. But we are universal citizens. And so when you're doing these vision quests and you're holding these visions, hold one of higher frequencies for the whole planet. And then watch them manifest, not only with your personal desires, but all of them. And oh my goodness, here we go. Here we go. I knew this was coming throat chakra, the most powerful energy center on the human body. You can check the archives. We talk about this all the time. Your voice is connected to your soul and it's requiring you to speak up. Remember the leadership, step up and let's go. You have to speak up, speak up. Even when you're talking to your mind, when those lower thoughts are coming in, you have to say, no, no, no. You have to replace that with a higher vibration. That's what you do. You do that no matter what you're faced with. And then you use your voice. Use your voice. Express yourself. Express yourself in writing. Express yourself through your body language. Express yourself through your voice. Use your voice and speak. We know the power of life and death is in the tongue. And everything is laid out for you, group three. You have the energy of Osiris, a star with you. You have the energy of the law of attraction. Everything you speak will be activated. And you do that through your voice, 
through you speaking it into existence. You're going to feel it. You're going to know it. Asar. This is internal. This is the internal. 5, 3, D, excuse me. You're going to visualize it. Visualize it. Pay attention to your dreams. They're going to be powerful, right? Um, because the law of attraction is there. You are getting messages directly from your higher self. And the throat chakra oh, is wide open for you. You need to be speaking, speaking, speaking to yourself, speaking to others, putting out good vibes, putting out high vibes. Because right now, your energy can make it all happen. Not just for yourself, for your loved ones, for the planet and everything around you. So there you go. Oh my goodness. Group one, <laughs> group two, and let's uh, see if we can pull it over. Group three. So there you are. That is our energy read for the week. I am Miss Blue, the Oracle. This was fun. I'm going to look for more ways uh, to come on and share it. But do me a favor down in the comments. If this is something you enjoyed, um, share that with me. Here's a look at this. You see this? I think I may be giving some of these away. These, This is a little blue raspberry, little blue raspberry sticker. I wanted to pull that out because I just thought it was cute. But also, um, let me know in the comments, what group did you choose and how did it resonate with you? Share that in the comments. And I'm excited because this will be my first video doing it with you all this way. I do live readings, me and Brother Bilal. We do them on YouTube. We do them on Clubhouse. We do them on the radio show. And we love doing that. But to be able to just do a pick a card reading. Um, I know many of you have been doing pick a card readings and you come. And I hope this will also be a place that you come and get some insight for the week. So remember, love is the only thing real here. And if nothing else moves you, life will. I am Miss Blue, the Oracle, and wishing you and sending you lots of love and high vibes. Peace and love. Ciao.